Yo, what is guys? Eric here from the Emerald Adventures, guys. And in today's video, we're doing something very, very crazy. And I say we're doing something very, very crazy in all of my videos. But what we're doing today, guys, we're going to be cleaning out my fish tank. That is so, so crazy. But before we get any farther into the video, be sure to leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You, you'll be a part of the Emerald Adventures. You would be on the... You're going to be going along on the adventures with me, guys, if you subscribe. And also, what I need y'all to do is hit the bell icon. So y'all get notified every time I upload a video. But what we're doing today, guys, we're basically, it's very simple. We're just cleaning out our fish tank today. It's extremely dirty. And everything's crazy. So, as you know, I posted a video, 24-hour um, overnight challenge on my trampoline. Well, I accidentally cut some clips out on it. I didn't know because I use iMovie to edit and, it's, and they just scatter all the clips everywhere. So I didn't get all my clips in there. So I'm not even going to try to re-upload it. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. So if y'all want me to re-upload it, I done deleted all the clips from my, my stuff. And the only place I have the video is on YouTube. So um, if y'all want me to put all the clips back in there, I, I can't because I done deleted everything off my device. So anyway, after I make my videos, I get them edited and then I upload. After I get them uploaded, I delete all the videos off my device. But anyway, when I say I delete them off my device, I delete them like from my photos and I delete them from my... my my, my photo library and then I delete them from iMovie I just delete all of the stuff until the only thing I leave it on is YouTube so anyway um yeah we're cleaning out our fish tank today and I did tell y'all on the video that I wasn't give y'all a shout out I was gonna make like a six minute second video or a six second long video um I did that and then they turned the comments off when I did it so yeah they can't do that no more so sorry guys y'all cannot have a shout out I'm so sorry I don't know what YouTube's problem is they're acting stupid but anyway so let's go ahead and get let's go ahead and get into the video. I'm gonna go ahead and show you this fish tank. We got Junior, Joseph, and Cody, and you probably you're probably familiar with them names together. So yeah, on Super Bowl Logan and stuff like that. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into the video. So guys, I need to tell you something. There is gonna be a video sometime soon, either this spring or this summer. We're already in spring, but anyway, so either this spring or this summer, we're going fishing, and I'm gonna get like at least 13, 12 or 13 trout. And we're going to cook them up and feed them to our family. And we're going to have a whole video on that. That's going to be crazy. My video is 35 minutes long that I posted um, on my 24-hour challenge. It would have been 45 minutes if I would have posted the other clips with it. I didn't know. But that's crazy. But let's go ahead and get into this video. We're going to be doing a trout catch and cook. Stuff like that soon. Like a trout fishing. I don't know. We're just gonna do something like that. There's this place down here where we live near us where we're gonna go fishing out soon. We're gonna get like 13 fish or 12. It's a lot of money. Well, last time we went fishing there, we got 10 fish. I was gonna post it. I don't know if I did post it. I might have posted it. I might have posted something like that on the last time last year. I might have posted something like that last year. I don't remember. Um, it's hard to tell, guys. I don't upload so much. It's just I can't keep track of what I'm doing. <laughs> but anyway, I might not. That sounds like a bad idea. That sounds like a bad habit, though. <laughs> But anyway, let's go ahead and get into this video. Let me go ahead and show you the tank and let's get started in three, two, one. Here we go, guys. Here's my fish tank. Here's all my fish in there. This is a five gallon tank. Um, here's my fish. There's um darker one's junior, the lighter one's Joseph, and the colorful one is Cody. And they're all going nuts. As you can see, there's a lot of crap everywhere in the tank. It's like it's been two months since we cleaned it. And you're probably thinking, what it's been two months? No wonder it's so dirty. Well, it's supposed to go at least a month or two because we have this pump in here. As you can see, we have a pump right there. It is. It's got a filter in it. That filter, I can tell you right now, is disgusting. Can you see? As you can see right here, it's a little bit of brown. It's really brown, as you can see. We don't want that. So we're going to take that out and get a new filter put in it. So, yeah, there's our fish tank and stuff like that. Let's go ahead and clean it out. So I'll see you when we start to clean right, it out. Guys, it is actually the next day. It's the next night. And we had we were I had filmed another video yesterday and uploaded it. So anyway, we're doing it tonight. So I filled this up with regular tap water. Now what I'm gonna do is pour a couple drops of this Aqua Safe in there. So go ahead and put some of that in there. So put about I'm not gonna look at the camera when I do this that much in there. Now after that, I just wanna give it a little shake. All right, got all the aqua safe in there. So anyway, what we're gonna do now, put the tap back on the aqua safe, hold on. All right. Now that we got the cap back on the aqua safe, now it's time to get the fish out. So we're gonna take our lid to cut it off. And we'll take our lid, lift it up, take it, 
and help hang it upside down because there's a lot of water that's built up on it. So I'm gonna hold on a minute. Hold on just a second. Okay. This here. All right. All right, guys. And we got the lid sitting there. Now it's time to scoop out the fish and put them in the tank. So I'm gonna right, sit guys, y'all up. Go ahead and get the fish out of here. Let's see. Um, it's hard to get them out of here. Crap. Mm. All right. I'm trying to find the fish here. I'm gonna take all their stuff out. Ugh. And I'm gonna set them right here. Let's see. Here's one. No, I can't get him. Come on. Take a plant out of here now because I can't get him out. Hold on a minute. Alright. Let's away from all the crap here. Alright, now let's try to get him out. Try to get him out now. Where's my net? Here it is. God has a hard, it's hard when you. Don't even have him. Did I get him? No, I didn't. Where's he at? I can't see because the water's so freaking murky. Hold on. No, stay on it. Stop. I'm going to have to take the pineapple out. Or not the pineapple, but this thing. Ew. That is disgusting. is nasty. All right. All right. Let's try now. I cannot get these fish out. You know, I'm going to get my dresser ruined. All right. Come on, fish. Can't see for one thing. Oh, got one. Dang it. No, I didn't. Got. No, come on. Shoot. He keeps swimming over the net. Got one. Got one. Here we go. Here we go. There's one. Okay, let's get the other ones. Other one. I don't have a light. I can't see it. The water is just so nasty. Whew, guys, this is a challenge. Got him. There's another one. There's one more. One more. And I can't get him. Let's see. All right, come on. Got him. Got him. All right, guys. There we go. I got him. And my hand is now disgusting. Anyway. Here we go. Three fish. There's one, there's two, and there's three. And I got all the stuff out of here, so I'm just going to go ahead and put this nastiness back in there for now. Ugh. Yeah. I'm just going to sit it back in there. That's disgusting. I'm just going to leave it sitting here, and I'm going to turn my whole system off. There we go. So now we're ready to take the fish tank and clean it out. So, yeah. All right, guys, I got to get these fish, and I'm going to take them to the kitchen, so I'll see you on three, two, All right, one. guys, we got all the fish to the kitchen here. We got Junior, Junior, Joseph, and Cody. That's Junior, Joseph, and Cody. 
There's the fish guys, and let's go watch, and they're cleaning the fish tank. Let's go okay, check guys, out. So what we're doing is we're taking the fish tank. We took a bucket. We got the fish out, and then we got all the stuff out, and we took a bucket. We got a mop bucket, and we put the stuff in the mop bucket, like the, the, uh, the stuff that's in the tank, including the filter and the pump. We put those in a bucket, in this mop bucket right here, and then we took it, and we got another bucket, and we poured water into it, and we poured water until it was empty, well, it was half empty, because my tank's a five gallon, and then what we did is we brought it into the bathroom, and we took the tank, we, we used a toothbrush to scrape the algae off the, um, the submarine and the other stuff that's in there, the, the stuff that goes in the tank, and then we cleaned it off with a toothbrush because it had algae on it. And then we took some Dawn detergent, and as you can see, she's um, she's scrubbing the tank down with the with the Dawn detergent, the dish liquid, and she's scrubbing it. You have to scrub it really good, and you rinse it. If you don't rinse it good, and if there's still some in there, the fish can die. So be very careful of that. And also, we have no rocks in our tanks. If you have rocks in your tank, that's a whole different ball game. So as you can see, what we're doing, we're getting it all good in there, getting it all cleaned out. And then what we do is we take our, um, we, after we get done with cleaning it, we take our fish tank back into the bedroom. And then I'll show you what we do in person after we get it back to the bedroom. So I'll see y'all when we're done cleaning it and then we're about to bring it to the bedroom. So I'll see okay, you Okay guys, so anyway, so what we did, we brought the tank back in here. And we put all of our stuff in here. Like that, and I watch he's about to put water in the tank with a mop bucket. He's filling it up here. And you can see, fill it all up and good. So, I get all that water in there until. Is that a whole mop bucket? All right, now as you can see, it's gonna move around, so you're gonna have to. If what's, what's gonna happen is when you put the uh, stuff in there and it starts and you fill it up and it's it's gonna start moving around from the pressure of the water filling in. So you'll have to fix it. Like I say, my Squidward's going crazy. There we go. My pineapple's tilted just a little bit. Just a little bit. There we go. A little too far to the wall. Okay, there we go. That's how it is right there. Now, when you put some water in here, you're wanting to fix it, and it'll do it a couple times if you pour it in really hard. Like, if you fix it once after you pour the water in there, and then you pour the water in there again really, really hard, it's going to move again. So, make sure when you're pouring the water in, pour it in pretty, like, fairly easy. So, you don't get, um... So you don't get your stuff, so you don't have to move your stuff every time you pour a bucket of water in there. Um, just need like one or two more buckets of water in there. That This is a whole mop bucket of water. And then we're going to put a new filter in there. Like I say, this is a five gallon tank, so it ain't that much to fill. It's, it ain't that much to fill, but it's still a little bit to fill. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm going to do a quick time lapse of us putting the rest of the water in. So I'll see you on a time lapse. Okay, so... Keep in mind, I forgot to tell you, whenever you put the stuff in there, make sure that there's there's this pot, there's, you want to get all the air out of the, um, the stuff in there, because if you don't get all the air out, then your stuff's going to start floating up there like you just witnessed on the time lapse. But anyway, we got everything cleaned out, and we're getting the fish put back in here. And here's the fishies. You want to hold the camera, I'll put them back in here. We got no. We got to put that stuff in there. We got. I put, already added the stuff. All right, you have to put some fish um, solution in there, the Aqua Safe. We put a couple drops of that in there. Here's the three fish. That's about the same. Let me see. Let me see the net. I'll get them. All right. Someone want to hold the camera on here, mom? Make sure you don't cut. Don't cut the camera up here. here. No. All right, guys. We're gonna put the fish back in here. Let's grab them. There's one. All right, there's one. Let's get the other stuff in the net. Here's two. 
Come on, get out there, buddy. You want to get, there we go. There's two, I want to get three. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> He's a flopper. Floppy the fish. Here we go. Come on, get out. Here we go. There we go. We got all three fish in there. And we put a new filter in there. Just so you know, if we put a new filter in there. So now, are we, I think we're done feeling it. Oh. So now, if you want to, we're going to go ahead and plug our light back in here. And you can clean the light. Um, They'll get, um, water will get on it after, after, over time. It'll start getting water on it. So the, if you want to clean that, you can. But it's, I don't think it's really necessary unless you have cleaned it a couple times and it, there's water been on it every time you cleaned it. If you don't want to clean it sometimes, that's fine. But we got all the fish in there. Now it's time to put the light back on. You ready to put the light back on? Here. I need to demonstrate here. Put the light back on here. Oh, sorry. All right. We're going to put the light back on here. We're going to turn it on. And we'll see how it looks. Now, then what you do. Hold on. Is it hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, flip the switch. There we go. And our fish tank has now changed and it looks a lot better. The light off, look at this. Looks a so much looks so it looks so much better with the light off. And you can see we got all the fish swimming down there. They're in shock right now. The fish will be in shock whenever you move them. They'll it'll shock them really bad when you move them. So you have to be you, you can't be going crazy with them when you first move them because if you move them and you're going crazy with them, then it could possibly put them into bad shock and it could kill them. So, again, and be cautious of, of one of the things when you're cleaning a tank you have to be cautious of. You have to be cautious of the water temperature. If you get it too hot, the fish will burn to death. If you get it too cold, I don't know about coldness. I don't remember that, but I think you can put them in cold. I don't remember. Um... But yeah, a lot of different temperature changes every second. Like, if you, like temperature changes. Like if you get a net and just put them in a different water temperature, that will shock them. So be, be cautious. I recommend you um, getting a, the water. You're going to put them in to change it. And then get a bucket of water and put the water in there. And then leave it overnight to sit in, your, in the room that the fish is in. So that they're not in too, too bad of shock. But they're in shock from moving them. Um, but yeah, be very careful of all that. And uh, and be careful when you're scooping them out. They will try to flop around a lot. As you saw, I kind of you don't want to you don't want to crush them with your net, like I accidentally did. But you you want to try to avoid that as much as possible. But I mean sometimes that you can't avoid it. But you you have to try at least. But anyway, there you go, guys. That is how you clean a five gallon or any t well that's a five gallon. Yeah, bigger tanks. Just to let you know, bigger fish tanks are harder to clean. So. There we go. That's how you clean a five-gallon fish tank. So there you go. And our fish, are, our fish are having so much fun in the new in the new water. And our, and you can see all the stuff is cleaned out a lot more. It looks so much better in person. It looks like an LED. In person, it don't even look like the water's there. I'm not kidding you. It really looks like the water is not there. It is so clean. It don't even. Look, it looks like it's not even there. But anyway, that's gonna be it. I'll see y'all back in my outro. So that's how you clean a five gallon aquarium fish tank. So hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you at my outro. See you then. All right, guys. And there you have it. That is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, guys. And be sure to hit that bell icon so you get notified every time I upload a video. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you clean a fish tank, five gallon aquarium fish tank. That is crazy. And I got my fish down there in uh, Blue Well. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Um, but yeah, do all them things I said, guys. And about the whole subscriber thing, I'm not going to be able to do anybody shout outs anymore until I get a P.O. box. Because when I get a P.O. box, it'll be a couple years from now, about a year. I don't know. Don't be going Don't be going crazy just because I said I might get a P.O. box one day. It's a lot of work and a lot of money. And I probably ain't going to do it no time soon. I'm just telling y'all that will probably be the next time I would get a shout out. I'll give shout outs. But anyway, about the whole subscribing thing. No one will get a shout out for until I get further notice. And... Yeah, I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm so sorry. I know y'all, there's some out there that's wanting shout-outs, but I just can't do it. 
YouTube has screwed me up by um, turning off the comments. I mean, it just makes me so mad. I don't know what their problem is. YouTube has some kind of problem about cutting people's comments off. You know, I'd really, I'd really, I would like to hear YouTube's excuse of why they turned the comments off. I would really love to hear it. People are stupid in this world. But anyway, that'll be it. Hope you enjoyed. That is, oh my gosh, guys, this video was so crazy. Um, But yeah, I do all those things I said. And uh, yeah, now I had a I have a cooking channel that I used to do cooking videos on, but now I change it into an FCD channel. FC, FCD stands for Family Crime Defense. I made it up, and I'm doing something. It's um, you'll you'll just know you'll know more about it. Just go to the channel. It will be a red logo with FCD on it. You'll see it. Um, it will look a lot like this. Let me show you real quickly. Have my business books in here. It'll look exactly like this. Right there, you'll see it. But yeah, that's it, guys. Um, but yeah, if you want more content, I will put more out. So again, I put, I put my videos on random because they canceled school for the rest of the year due to the coronavirus in our state or our place or whatever in our county. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and that will be it. So yeah. Mm, it's crazy and guys i will be back on track on my videos probably in after august no wait it might be before august because i gotta play i gotta i might have to play piano for some for some for a program this summer for at a at a um program for for some people this summer i'll have to play piano form down there anyway that but if that happens i will have to um you know, put my video back on every Sunday. So, yeah, because I have the, I might have to play some songs for that um, program down here near us. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed. And that'll be it. And I'll see you next time. This is Tanner, Tanner Cook or the Emerald Adventures. Peace out, guys. See ya.